Good afternoon, Greenfield Central community. The administrative team serving Greenfield Central Schools has received a large amount of information regarding fall reentry over the past several days. And we would like to offer you some insight into what our fall planning looks like at this time. We strive to create a reentry plan that best serves the needs of our students while maintaining the necessary flexibility to respond to the changing environment based on the impact that COVID-19 may continue to have on our community. One week ago, we reviewed the results from the Panorama survey that many GC families completed. We're grateful for the 1,556 families who took time to give us feedback regarding our virtual practices in the spring semester. This information will certainly help guide us with the decisions we make for the fall semester. On Friday, we received a document from the Indiana Department of Education called NCLASS. NCLASS is an acronym that stands for Indiana's Considerations for Learning in Safe Schools. The publication offers guidance for communities that should be used to reopen schools. It was created in a collaborative group effort, including the Department of Education, the State Department of Health, and Indiana Family and Social Services Administration. If you're interested in reading the document in its entirety, you can find it on the Indiana Department of Education's website. Over the weekend, we began gathering information from building principals and teachers regarding the guidance provided in the in-class document. Though we have been planning the details of fall reentry for many months, this new guidance has provided some new challenges we had not anticipated. Please understand that we are making plans for our students and staff to re-enter our school facilities this fall. We're also making plans for students who do not plan to re-enter our schools in late July. This past Monday, the Board of School Trustees permitted us to explore a virtual school option for Greenfield Central families. We're creating this option because of the information we gained from our families in the Panorama Survey. The survey results suggested that roughly 25% of our families are not sure if they will send students back to brick and mortar schools when school resumes in the fall. Therefore, we're establishing a K-12 virtual school option for some of our GC families that will be available this fall. More information regarding this opportunity will be released in July. We simply want our families to understand that this will be an option. On Tuesday, Dr. McCormick, the Indiana State Superintendent of Education, conducted her bi-weekly webinar to school leaders. Our administrative team members were in attendance at this webinar and we later collaborated to discuss the state's expectations. And over the last 24 hours, my leadership team members and I have collaborated with more than 20 Central Indiana school leaders, members of the Hancock County Health Department, and key leaders from Hancock Health. We are tirelessly working to create a plan that is right for Greenfield Central. At this time, we want to reiterate the following things to our community. Our priority is to offer continued learning environment and a safe environment for all individuals, students, staff, and families. We plan to begin school as designated in the approved school calendar for the 2020-21 school year, the first day of which would be Thursday, July 30th for students. We understand that it is important for the economic development of our community to have an option for our youngest students to be in school each day. Students choosing to attend school on site will have some additional safety protocols in place that we have never had before. For instance, wearing masks, frequent hand washing requirements, more limited movement within the schools, etc. Students in all grades, kindergarten through grade 12, will have the opportunity to engage in virtual learning through a Greenfield Central platform if families are interested. We intend to offer transportation to and from school, through the, though the expectations for participants will need to be more stringent than the traditional experience. We're following the guidance from the IHSAA and the Department of Education regarding summer and fall athletics and extracurricular opportunities for our students. Traditional immunizations will still be required for all students planning to attend school on site in the fall semester. We appreciate your patience as we plan for the upcoming semester we commit to making steady progress toward our fall planning, always keeping the safety of students and staff as our goal and basing decisions on what is in the best interest of our students. We may find it necessary to continue to seek input, input from our families over the summer months. 
Therefore, we ask that you please continue to monitor your email and respond to our request for feedback so we can plan appropriately for the fall semester. We welcome your input regarding the possibilities for the school experience as we are committed to creatively, creatively serving our needs of students and staff alike. Please feel free to email or call your principal or superintendent with your input. Thank you for your patience and understanding and please continue to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the summer break.